About 22 hours have passed since I made my mind-blowingly awesome proclamation that someone actually remembered what a pager is. Holy Christ. Yes, hello, Luca. And I guess hello to everyone else out there watching this video. I should intro, shouldn't I? Hey there, guys! My name is Nix, and welcome back to Stein's Gate! Last time, Luca Co. wants to be a girl. I mean, I don't blame him. He's fucking adorable. But uh, he doesn't like that fact, and he would prefer to be adorable as a girl. Fairly understandable from what I'm... From where I'm coming from, if that's what he wants, just let him do it. Luca enters the lab shyly, just as he did yesterday. He gives me a bashful smile when our eyes meet. Might I have a pager? Yeah, that's great, Luca-kun! I can proceed with the experiment. Lucas's girl, Lucas's girl version. It would definitely be more moe. Mayushi, yes, no, that still technically works. Mayuri, Kurisu, and Daru are already on standby. Sending a D-mail to a pager. Yesterday we argued about whether it's even possible. Eventually we settled on probably. Data is data, after all. The rest depends on the pager radio station what, what yeah. The rest depends on the pager radio wave stations eight years ago. But it should be fine as long as our data gets through safely. We already googled how to send data to a pager. For the pages back then you would first enter the other person's pager number, then if in the Kanto region, enter star two star two. After that you would enter the numbers to send. And that's how it worked apparently. Pages in 1992 could still only send numbers. Phone number display functions were also yet to be implemented, so your number was hidden from the other person by default. A few years after that, pages started to implement Japanese character displays, enabling functionality similar to that of email. Therefore, the D-mail Lukako is about to send, it's technically not a mail though, has to be sent in numerical form. Naturally, I have a conversion table for that on hand. You can find information even from 18 years ago if you Google it. Now, I was pretty worried by the lack of information on pages at first, but that's my little secret. Is that how you Urushibara? Yeah. Urushibara-san, you need to think about what to send to your mother in the past. Uh, I, I do? If you want to grant your wish, then you must open the door with your own hands. We can only show you the way. Well, I understand. We explained to Lukako the function of the phone wave name subject to change. The numbers we're sending are one byte characters, so we can send 36 of them. The page's number to letter conversion system says two numbers corresponds to one Japanese character. Furthermore, since you first need to input star 2 star 2, I mean, you can only send 16 hiragana characters. Lukako, understanding everything, takes out a notebook and begins writing drafts for the paper message. I show Lukako the site I found. It reads, page and number and letter conversion. Um... Pager typing is commonly known as two-touch typing, or pager input. It's somewhat different from cell phone input. You choose the consonant and then input the vowel. The consonants are... That's not what a consonant is. A is definitely not a consonant. Uh, a, K, S, T, N, H, M, Y, R, W. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Basically, to input K, you press 2 to input the consonant K, then press 4 for the vowel E. This is a pain. Let's just send 83183183131. That should do it. Why 831? Ya. Yasa. Oh, okay. Yasai. Yasai? Yasai for ve veggies. Duh. Veggies, veggies, veggies. We just have to draw that into Lukashi's mother's brain. 
She'll just pass that message off as a prank. Then how about two nine two nine two nine two nine? I'm going to regret asking this, but what does that mean? <laughs> Niku ni. Oh, is that what it is? Niku for meat. Meat, 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 meat. Huh. Oh god, why are you here? Oh no! He escaped, ya! Yeah! If we don't find and kill him, misfortune will fall upon Akiba, ya! Yeah! His name is the end of Tutorial. Yeah, Tutorial. He's small and nimble and cries choo choo, nya! Come here quick! Ferris needs your help, nya! I can help, but it won't be cheap. A rat? What kind of cat girl's afraid of rats? You disappoint me, Ferris, nya nya. Ah, uh, do I. Do I want to help Ferris? Maybe, but not right now. Anyway, where was I? Niku for meat! Meat, 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 meat! Why do you want her to like meat? That's not it! If you keep repeating meat, she will actually start to hate meat and want to eat vegetables instead, don't you think? Yeah, no. Lukako completes his composition while we use, while we speak our nonsense. How about something like this? Mom eat veggies, okay? Isn't that a little too vague? And the first mom should go. That'll just make it harder to believe. Eat lots of veggies to give birth to a girl. That's a little too direct. And it's over the character limit. Eat veggies for a healthy kid? Wait a sec. According to this conversion chart, it looks like you gotta use two more numbers for voice consonants. So that sentence is four bytes over. Then, how about a little modification? How about eat veg for healthy kid? Isn't that a little too informal? You're talking to Urushibara-san's Urushiba Urushiba mother, you know. Would she understand the veg for part? Do you have any bright ideas? Kurusu shrugs her shoulders and says no more. And then it's settled. Let's type it out! When sending to a pager, the number encoded message is ha handled like a telephone number. So we input in so we so we enter the input into the uh, X68000. Star two, star two, oh eight, one Oh no, Christ this is gonna be difficult. Ahem. Star two, star two, eight one three, one one two two, three one three four five two four oh four oh three two two five one two five oh two one three seven four nine three. Whew! Think I got it. The long random looking string of numbers is complete. Yes. Alright, we're good to go. Now just activate the phone wave names of digit change and we have Lukako call. The microwave timer is set to one five four one five two seconds. This should arrive around January 1st, 1993. The margin of error is around one to three days, I guess. Leap year calculations is a pain, so I ignored it. <laughs> I feel like ignoring leap year calculations is going to screw us over completely. Lukako's slender finger starts to tremble on top of the enter button. Ready? I'm starting it up. Lukako looks at me with tears in his eyes and nods faintly. The discharge phenomenon soon occurs. Lukako flinches and takes a step back, but then I see determination flare in his eyes. He sets his jaw and pushes the button. Four, five. We've gone real far down. 
A wave of dizziness hits me again. I place a hand on the table to support myself. The dizziness slowly fades. Little by little, color returns to the world. <sighs> Reading Steiner is activated again. Did the world line change? I look around the room. Like what happened with Moeka, Lukako is still here. He blushes when he notices my stare. Look at me like that. <sighs> I fold my arms and tilt my head. Lukako's appearance hasn't changed a bit. I'm paying particular attention to his chest. And his chest. And his chest. As a guy, it's natural for him to have no breasts. But if he's a girl now, that's a different story. That washboard isn't tiny breast level. It's no breast level! It... didn't work. So the eats lots of vegetables to give birth to a girl thing Kurosu talked about was nothing but fringe science. What kind of scientist believes in such a flimsy theory anyway? What didn't work? Everyone, including Lukako, looks at me in confusion. <laughs> Don't you remember? Just now, we used the phone wave name subject to change to- I slap my hand over my mouth as soon as I start talking. That was careless of me. As our previous experiments proved, the activation of reading Steiner meant the world line has changed. And I'm the only one who carries his memories through the change. Nobody else in here knows what we did. <coughs> Sorry, it's it's nothing. Afterwards, Mayuri and Lukako happily go out shopping for lunch at the neighborhood convenience store. Christina, Christina, I want to ask you something. Is Lukako? What pervy are you thinking about this time? Can't be too careful around this perv duo. We're not a perv duo. We're a pervy gentleman duo. Whatever. Seriously, whatever. <sighs> Damn, I can't ask now. It's really annoying that no one remembers. I don't want to think about how Kurosu might react if I suddenly ask, is Lukako a girl? I should wait until I can get Lukako alone and check then. But considering how his appearance hasn't changed at all, it's very likely that the sex change failed. In fact, what did Lukako's D-mail ch change? It's just like the Moeka experiment. The result is different from what we expected. The real problem is that we have no control. After I leave the lab, I head to May Queen plus Nyan Squared to think about it. Daru sits in front of me, waiting impatiently for Faris to bring our order. Daru. What do you think about D-Mail? It's cool, but it's kind of lame at the same time. What's lame about it? I couldn't use it to win my Rynet match against Faris Town. Now that's a selfish reason. As our experiments have shown, d still hasn't reached a reliable level of precision. A true time machine would remove luck from the equation. The phone wave names it to change is useless unless we can give the sender more control. For starters, there's the problem of how I'm the only one who can recognize the changes. Without my special power, we wouldn't even be able to check the results of the experiment. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we are getting results. What about the Lotto 6? Oh, it's Mayori. Are you meant to be working? I stopped by the store to buy some crunchy coons since you want. Since you said you want to eat them. But you're not even here. That's mean. I put them in the fridge, so eat them soon, okay? Wait, when did I say I wanted to eat crunchy coon? Oh. This is interesting. 
I'll probably follow this line to see where it goes. Pending. Although it was Luca Ko's mistake that cost us the prize, he wouldn't have been in a position to make that mistake if I hadn't asked him to buy the ticket instead, in my stead. Why did I do that? It's as if Steins get guided the money away from my grasp. No, I need to think positive. Kyoin Kyoma will not let this keep him down. I won't give up, for I am a mad scientist. I don't understand what you're saying, but you sure seem confident about it. Someday we will improve the phone wave name subject to change, so that it may be used to send things not only to the past, but also to the future. We'll impu- impuve? We'll improve it. No, we must improve it! But that is the choice of Steins Gate! <laughs> Oh Christ, what the <laughs> fuck have I done? Faris is standing right next to me. Where the hell did she come from? <laughs> Damn you, Faris. <laughs> Eavesdropping is cowardly. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> nope. <clears throat> what do you mean? Your voice is so loud it echoes through the whole store, yeah? <laughs> no! Once again, I leaked classified information concerning the future of mankind! Here's your iced coffee and your iced tea and cat food! Thanks for waiting, yeah! Dara's order of cat food is one of the made cafe specialties. It's not the usual miso over rice, but a stylish risotto instead. It's one of Daru's favorites. It's actually pretty tasty. Daru's places the iced coffee in front of me. Do you want a milk syrup? Do you want milk and syrup now? Yeah. Do you want some milk syrup? Ew. <laughs> That's probably something dirty in this restaurant. NEVER! If Kyoma's gonna be like that, I'll pour it all in ya! You need sugar for a healthy brain, man! <sighs> Despite my refusal, Faris pours all the milk and syrup into my glass. God, I hate you. <laughs> then, speaking some nonsense incantation, she mixes my iced coffee with a straw. And the whole time, she stares straight into my eyes. I don't know whether she's going to go a bit yandere or whatever, but she's got the pink hair, so it's entirely plausible. There it is. Faristan's secret technique. Eye contact mix mix. Now it starts explaining in excitement. Most maids can't do it without spilling a little, yet Faris Tan makes it look easy! That's why I love her! It's because of this secret technique that Faris Tan reigns supreme as May Queen's number one maid. The iced coffee in the glass changes from, bra from black to brown. Damn, she's dragging me into her pace again. She's dragging me into needing more fucking water. Jesus Christ, Faris. I do enjoy ruining this character, but at the same time, she's ruining my voice, so uh, it's equivalent exchange at this point. Next, Faris performs the same secret technique on Daru. Thank you, Faris Tan. I'll be sure to savor it. He bows deeply. Such a polite man. I take a sip of my iced coffee. Its bitterness and sweetness flow down my throat. When I look up, I see Faris standing next to me, her silver tray in front of her waist. Do you need something? I want to hear the rest, Nya! Yoma and Daru Nya are having a fun little chit cat, Nya! Something about a time machine! Faris really wants to hear, Nya! Daru, put your eyebrows down, please. She gives me a babyish look with upturned eyes. But I, fi but I firmly reject her. It's top secret! It's not for outsiders. And who's big mouth at the whole store in, yeah? Tell Faris Daru, yeah? She's targeting Daru now. Oh, goddamn, we're fucked. 
Don't underestimate him, Faris Nyan Nyan. Daru is my most trustworthy right hand man. The wizard class super hacker. He won't be tricked into divulging classified information. We built an amazing machine that can send emails to the past. I did most of the work, of course. And he's broken. I mean, it's scary. It's damn right. Is that a time machine, yeah? I guess you could say that. Wow, you're awesome! Your big brain makes my heart race, yeah! You mean it? <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. <sighs> Dumbass. What's with the grin? Paris dreams of going on a journey through time, yeah! I'll bring you along someday. Daru, don't make promises you can't keep! By the way, it's been bugging me! But what is time anyway, yeah? Oh, come. What? <laughs> time is often compared to a river, yeah? Flowing from past to future. But is that really how it is, yeah? Why, am, why are we having a deep philosophical conversation with this girl? <coughs> if time is a river, then where is the present, yeah? Is it a point? Is it a line? Where does the present begin and end, yeah? Now that you mention it, I don't have a vague concept of time. I never really gave it any serious thought. The present is a leaf floating on a river. It moves along with the flow from past to future. So are we riding on that leaf, Nya? When you die, do you fall off, Nyan? You could say that. All points upstream from the leaf of the past, downstream the future. Yeah. <coughs> oh Christ, Lord help me. But is that leaf the only present for humans, yeah? Meaning? Humans make units to define and observe time, which is how we know this leaf is the present. But if every living thing in the universe went extinct, nothing would exist to observe the present, yeah? In that case, where would the present go, yeah? Wouldn't something like God or the will of the universe observe it? But what if God is a four-dimensional being who can move freely through time, yeah? Uh, uh? If God is the one who decides the present, then won't that... Or then won't our present move with him, yeah? This is hard. So what you're saying is the present is subjective to the observer. If we go with that assumption, then the past and the future also depend on the observer, yeah? If Faris were to use a time machine to travel back of one week, then Kyoto and Daru's present would become Faris's future, yeah? I guess that makes sense. So how does the leaf model reflect the difference, yeah? Neither Daru nor I have an answer to that. <coughs> God damn it, where's Christina when I need her? Perhaps nobody has an answer. Just like the collapse of causality thing Kurosu mentioned. Does that mean that time machines and time travel are impossible after all? But since jellified test subjects physically time traveled as far back as 1921, Anyway, if everything depends on the observer, yeah, then clocks are meaningless, Nyan. Fun times fly and hard times drag, yeah. In other words, the flow of time changes depending on your point of view, Nyan. <coughs> Speaking of which, as you grow older, it feels like time starts to flow faster, doesn't it? Janet's law. Faris thinks about this stuff sometimes, yeah. I think time might not flow with something. Time might not be something as simple as a river, yeah. Yeah, the more you think about it, the more complicated it gets. The strict definition of time, similar to that, similar to the question of 
where is the self, is one of humanity's eternal questions. Countless renowned scholars have left this question unanswered. There's no way amateurs like us can solve it. But there's one thing I can do. Fret not, though physics and philosophy made in Ayas. Our machine has made time travel possible. Am I correct, Daru? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Looks like you guys have kicked reason to the curb, yeah. But Faris wants to use the time machine too, yeah. Can I? Please? Sure, I'll let you use it as much as you want, Faris Tan. Really, yeah? Then it's a promise, yeah? Daru! Don't decide things on your own! Faris springs up with joy and hugs Daru's rotund body. That's all it takes to make Daru look like he's died and gone to heaven. After killing some time at May Queen, I leave Daru and head back to the lab. The only person there is Mayuri. She's working on a costume. <laughs> Mayuri, <laughs> Mayuri, you're like a housewife burning the midnight oil to bring a little mo more money home. Kids these days. Besides, Mayushi doesn't charge for her costumes. Seems like she understood the rest of what I said. It was just a joke anyway. Hobbies should just be hobbies. You know? It makes me happy to see someone wearing a costume I made. Do you want to become a designer? Come to think of it, Mayushi's never really talked about her future. It's, it's too hard. And what is your dream? My is to destroy the system and plunge the world into chaos. Uh, Mayushi just wants to keep hanging out in the lab. What? You want to be a lab man forever? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but this lab has no interest in profit. You'll always be hurting for food. You know, Akarin, we have six lab mems now. Isn't it amazing? Maishi never expected we'd grow this big. That's a sudden change in topic. And for some reason, she's puffing her chest out in pride. It's all because Mayushi became your hostage. No! That has nothing to do with it! I tricked every last one of you into joining with my masterful manipulations! <laughs> I feel like I'm getting this tuna bio laugh down, and it's slightly concerning. You shouldn't say things like that! Besides, you didn't trick me! That's true. You came of your own violation. V volition. She joined the lab without my without my ever asking. When she just appeared in the doorway and offered to join, I thought she was a goddess sent from heaven. Okarin? Can Mayushi still be your hostage? Is that a joke or a serious question? I can't tell. Is that what you want? Mayushi drops the costume in her hand. And then she smiles shyly. Maybe it is. Such a masochist! I had no idea! But I mean, as long as I'm your hostage, Mayushi won't ever be lonely. Neither will Okarine! <laughs> I feel terrible because I feel like all of the death flags are going up. I... I see. Sometimes Mayuri throws me off my game. But if that's a reason for staying at the lab, then I'm happy. Ah! I see to get going. 
Mayushi stands up and starts putting on a ver putting away a various sewing tools. Mayuri. Mayuri. Wanna get something to eat on the way back? My treat. Really? You never treat me! <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. Then how about Kitchen Jiro? Her mince cutlet is, um, top tier! She'll get no argument from me. Just leave it to me! She's really happy! Well, at least she's easy to please. Mayuri and I head for Kitchen Gyro. Gyro? I don't know. After that, I'll see her safely to the station. I spent the next morning doing laundry at the near by laundromat. When I returned to the lab just past noon, Daru, Mayuri, and Kurisa were all assembled. Oh, Christ, why? Wait, one of my previous... I'm sure she sent me a previous text. Uh, I'm wondering, like... Uh, how many of these... I wonder how many of these are actually different. All of the ones from Taita seem to be the same, but I feel like some of them are missing. <clears throat> yes, everyone's assembled. Thank you for coming in on the Saturday. Your devotion to science makes me proud. Yeah. Kurisu sighs deeply. It's the middle of summer, but instead of going on vacation, I'm stuck in a sauna with a bunch of perps. Where did I go wrong? She's really giving us a verbal beatdown. Wipe your tears, you experiment-loving girl without a single friend! I, I'm not crying! Besides, you're the one who told us to be here. Indeed. But the one who obeyed my orders and arrived on time was you. You know, Christia is actually a very honest and hardworking girl. That's what Mayushi thinks. Mayuri smiles as she eats some nuggets from McDee's. <laughs> of course she does. That's just what makes her so adorable. What? Uh, huh? How can this, this girl say something like that while eating a nugget? Don't let it bother you. That's just Mayuri's nature. I've been with her for a long time, so I'm used to it. A Yuri flag. I get it. Please don't get it. Hi. Here, Christian, have a nugget! Thanks. While listening to their heartwarming banter, I go and put my laundry on the table. However... Don't put that there, it's filthy. I just washed them! Like I care. When a guy puts his underwear on a girl's face, have some decency. If you're that interested in my underwear, then just say so. What? I'm not interested at all! Come on, guys! No more talking about underwear! Mayushi's trying to eat here, okay? How can you say that with you're still shoveling nuggets into your mouth? Don't interrupt me! I end up putting my laundry in the changing room. As I explained to Daru yesterday, I've noticed something about the result of our experiments. Dmails have too many uncertain variables. We can never be sure what will happen when we send one. It's not like we can do anything about that. After all, the result is, whoever, is up to whoever receives the mail. Of course, if you analyze the you can analyze the psycho psychology, then you might be able to manipulate them into doing what you want. So man, that might be a bit too much for Hyoin underwear. You just wanted to say underwear, didn't you? Underwear aside, the fact that D-mail is start the fact is that D-mail is far from complete. 
I need a more reliable time machine before I can expose CERN in the organization and plunge the world into chaos. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I called you here today. The purpose of today's roundtable conference is... Another roundtable? If you want a roundtable conference that much, at least go buy a roundtable. Remember what Okuri said, Christian? The round table is in our hearts. <laughs> Mayuri-san, you're really innocent, but you shouldn't take everything Okabe says seriously. Really? The round table doesn't matter right now. More importantly, the purpose of today's meeting is to explore methods of true physical time travel, not just d with the objective of sending someone to the past like CERN has. Don't be ridiculous. That was fast. And she's glaring at me even harder than she was during the whole underwear thing. It was the best equipment in the world, and even after nine years, they still haven't succeeded. You can't possibly hope to accomplish something like that. You become a Joe Ocarine! <laughs> Kinda sounds like Garrow Froggy. Why did those things become popular anyway? This isn't a laughing matter. Isn't it too early to give up? Haven't we already succeeded with D-Mail, or first in human history? But we're not the first. Didn't CERN do it before us? Humanity's first time traveling email. For what? For we who n have achieved that miracle, nothing is impossible. Such baseless confidence. Anyway, wasn't it just a co coincidence that we discovered D mail? We still haven't figured out what's functioning at, at the lifter. We just need to figure that out, don't we? It's futile. How do you solve a problem that even CERN hasn't figured out? If you don't set the destination, then you don't know where you'll leap to. I'll pass on leaping into deep space, thanks. That's a problem. If you can't control where you'll end up, your time machine is worthless. Wait a second. We don't set the destination when we send the email, and it still arrives where it's supposed to. How do you explain that? Now that you mention it... You set the mail address, right? Isn't that enough? Is it? I don't think a phone signal can be received from millions of kilometers away. I bet you get a busy signal or something! I stare at my phone. Maybe our cell phones are acting like a black hole, like black holes and white holes. You shouldn't speculate like that. You have zero basis. What the hell is a white hole when it's at home? Is it possible that we form a wormhole? No wormholes have ever been confirmed to exist. I groan. Kurosu and Daru fall silent. The problem has them stumped too. Rayu is the only one smiling. She probably doesn't understand and is just smiling because she feels like it. In any case, the cold hard truth is that d arrive precisely when and where we want them to. We're ahead of CERN in that regard. Now, can we apply d technology to physical time travel? But with d you can only send 36 bytes of data. No way can you send a whole person with that kind of limit. It's the same problem that CERN is having, and the reason those subjects are turning into jelly men. If you want to become jello, Karin, I'm not stopping you. Recalling the fa the fa <coughs> Recalling the fate of CERN's research makes my skin crawl. Curve black holes, ring singularities. Super gravitational space time distortions. If you can adjust the lifter's volume of electron injection, you might be able to get the ring singularities naked. But even CERN is having a hard time controlling the lifter. Even if we do figure out what's functioning as the lifter in our time machine, I doubt we'll be able to solve the problem easily. 
Meaning that at present, we can only send a mere 36 bytes of data. I wonder how much data there is in a human body. I bet it's more than an exabyte. It would be best to leave physical transfer aside for now. Sending data through time is an amazing feat by itself. We should be satisfied with what we've got. Sending data through time is enough, huh? Such pessimism is unbecoming of a scientist sworn to uncover the secrets of the universe. I'm telling you to know your limits. If you want to uncover the secrets of the universe, you need personnel, equipment, and funding to rival CERN. It's one thing to set lofty goals, but this impoverished lab has no resources to speak of. I've been thinking, maybe we should bring a phone wave to a proper research insti into institution and entrust it to a specialist. CERN's keeping their time machine research top secret, so if we make an official announcement, it will benefit the future of mankind. If we make an official announcement, the organization will become aware of my existence. Oh, come on! I'm being serious here! This isn't time for your childish... And we've hacked into CERN. Those heartless bastards will do anything, even experiment on human beings. And behind them is a power greater than the nations of the Earth. If we make the phone wave name something to change public, they might have us erased. You watch too many movies. The name Committee of 300 appeared in actual CERN documents. Yeah, but... Kosu's tone weakens. Ayushi's kinda scared. If they find out about our hacking, they'll seriously have us killed. I didn't make any mistakes that could give us away, of course. Also, and this is the biggest problem. I lower my voice and look hard at each of them in turn. If we go public, we won't be able to do any more cool stuff with D-mails anymore. Why you? <laughs> no way am I giving up such an awesome machine! I am Hyoin Kiyoma! The insane mad scientist who rules space and time! What desire what I desire is that's right chaos This guy's hopeless. Let to do something quick. Eh? Hmm? Hmm? Ah. She made another weeb reference. Everybody freezes. Christina. Christina. Are you in that channel? Shut up! I'm not okay! <laughs> Kurosu gives me her sharpest glare yet. Her eyes are so cold my spine turns to ice. I nod and swallow what I was going to say. That reminds me, Daru! Have you made any progress hacking into CERN? He did say he would take the time to learn how to use the IBM 5100. But I know he's been coming to the lab every day to work on it. His monitor is always displaying some kind of program, and his fingers are always busy on the keyboard. Yeah, right now I'm coming CERN's massive database. It would take years to read it all. For now I've passed everything in... For now I've passed everything that looks important onto Makasei for translation. Basically, I've gone as deep as I can do. CERN belongs to me now! Thank goodness you're on my side. If only you weren't so weak to seduction. Christina, report on the status of these translations. You stop talking like that. It's pretentious and annoying as hell. Hell! Mary takes a cute idol-like pose and smiles for some reason. Childhood friend, I promise you'll get used to how he talks eventually. I just hope it doesn't take ten years. So you're saying that you want to stay with me for ten years? In other words, you want to work at this rap for the rest of your. It was sarcasm, get it? Sarcasm. Oh. 
Give me your report, Christina. If you don't, I'll call you an at Chandler. Did you hear me the first time? Oh, Jesus Christ, Christina, calm down. She glares at me again. My blood goes cold. I've been working on the translation, but I have time. But so far, I haven't seen anything about anything new about time travel. Looks like CERN is still struggling to find a solution. Maybe they'll have to wait another 24 years, like Tider said. Daru, any other results? Well, it looks like CERN's in the middle of a big project, so the LHC's at full operation. I'm trying to see if I can c cut in and maybe use it secretly. What? No way! Kursu's stunned. Honestly, so am I. Is that amazing? It's not amazing, it's downright outrageous! Super hacker. What a monster! Oi, Christina. Hey, Christina? You're doing that on purpose! Uh, d d d d doing what? She's an at Chandler, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'm just doing it for laughs. It's not like we have any reason to use the LHC. Sounds like things are going smoothly. When you begin stage 3 of their operation. What's stage 3? Sen's most secret forbidden domain. We're going to free the darkness hidden inside. In Japanese, please? The IBM 5100 database. I'm asking if you've started hacking it yet. Daru frowns. We can't, remember? You said all we need was an IBM 5100 of our own. Right, that's the problem. We can't do anything without one. I knew that bitch stole my computer! Huh? Huh? Again, this feeling of disconnect. God damn it, Moeka, you stole my computer! This conversation isn't making sense. You know how fast she types, she could have fucking. But I got you an IBM 5100. You haven't started working on it yet? She types way fast enough that she can type out a message, fucking show it to us, like, this is what I want sent. Then go back and change it to, oh, this is where the IBM 5100 is, please go and nick it. Huh? You got one? When? <coughs> Puzzled, I look at Kurisu and Mayori. Mayori looks confused, like always. Kurisu meets my eyes and shrugs her shoulders. First I've heard of it. Impossible! You helped me carry the damn thing home! I just can't be! I dash into the development room. The IBM 5100 I borrowed from Yanabayashi Shrine should be on the shelf inside. It's in a cardboard box and it weighs about 25 kilos. It's too heavy for a single person to carry. But when I go to look... It's gone. It's no longer where I left it. The IBM 5100 was right here! Where did it go? Everyone looks at me in surprise. Why are you staring at me like that? The legendary PC that was donated to Yanabayashi Shrine! You've seen it, remember? I don't remember! Donated to Yanabayashi Shrine? That's stupid. Are you sure you weren't hallucinating? It's hot these days. Despair drags me down like quicksand. We can't hack that database without the IBM 5100. Who stole it? The organization? CERN? CERN is a possibility. Maybe they know they start hacking and stole the IBM 5100 from the lab. No, 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 no. Even if they could steal the IBM 5100 from the lab, they can't steal Mayori and Daru's memories of it. What happened? Kiryu Moeka. Maybe I should check with her first. Could someone other than Moeka have stolen the IBM 5100? I consider the possibilities. The next name that comes to mind is... 
Don't tell me it was John Tida! Of course. Titus' goal was to obtain an IBM 5100. And I've already contacted him several times. But how did he get my personal information? Well, I'm trying to decide whether I should send the mail. Kurosu tells me to calm down. A high school girl is ch chiding me. She dare make a fool of Hyo and Kyoma! Irritated, I explained the purpose of the IBM 5100 and how I came to obtain one. During that time, I also sent Moeka a mail for confirmation. The IBM 5100 may have disappeared as a result of some chips, but such a chip has changes someone made in the past. Oh, so you believe me? But from our perspective, all the demons we've sent, all the demons we've sent so far were trivial. Ah! Uh, the one we sent when we first realized Fun Wave Jam was a time machine, right? The one that said Okarin is a perv. And during the preliminary d experiments, I sent dozens to Okabe's phone. But they were all insubstantial, so I don't think they could have changed the past. I sent two of them when we were trying to match, win the match against Faris. There was one more. First mail Okabe ac accidentally sent that said I was dead. But from my perspective, we sent several more. I mean, how we sent the winning Lotto 6 numbers? Now well, Luka Chan bought a ticket with those numbers, but didn't win? But nobody aside from Okabe remembers him sending that. But I showed you guys the, the, afterwards. It was still my phone arrivals history. We were so close. Is that all? No, there's more. Moeka and Lukako each sent a D-mail. Oh, right. That's what you claim, but Ashida, Mayori-san, and I don't, e don't remember either of those. Um, Mayushi's getting a headache. I already told you guys! I'm the only one who keeps his memories after the world changes! So, according to your perspective, when the IBM disappeared, did it just happen? When was the last time you remember seeing it in the lab? Well... I put my index finger to my forehead and searched my memories. IBM! IBM 5100. I'm sure... It was August 3rd. I remember it being in the lab on August 3rd. Are you certain? I... think so. Oh Christ, it's you downstairs. Nice as you're... Nice as you're scary, Lamau. She likes me, though. It's nice! It's like having a little sister. Gotta take care of her! Plus, she's my excuse to skip work. I don't even... I can't even respond to you right now, part-time warrior. Huh. So many things have happened. My memories are a jumble. Let's go over the events which led to me obtaining the IBM 5100. I heard that Faris was a retro PC maniac who knew about the IBM 5100. I learned that nine years ago she donated her IBM 5100 to Yanabayashi Shrine. I asked Lukako's dad for help and he lent me the IBM 5100 just like that. Mission complete. At the very least, Faris and Lukako should remember what happened. I should give them a call. First up is Lukako. Hello, Okabe-san! Uh, please forget what you saw the other day! I saw something. My cosplay. Oh, that? That was just Lukako getting embarrassed for no reason. More importantly, I have questions about the IBM 5100. The IBM 5? 
IBN5100. About nine years ago, someone dedicated dedicated to the retro PC to Anabayashi Shrine. That's the one. Know anything? Yes. He remembers. Look at how really remembers. Just a while ago, I came to the, to the shrine looking for it, didn't I? And then I asked your old man, and he let me borrow it, right? I don't. Right? I don't remember anything like that. What? It's another effect of changing the past? The IBM 5100 was at the shrine, though, right? Is it there now? Uh, I don't know the details. Where are you now? Is your old man there? No. Damn. Okay, sorry for calling you so suddenly. No problem. I'm sorry that I couldn't help. The IBM 5100 was at Yanabayashi Shrine. That's a fact. And Luca Ko knew that. I need to check if it's still there or not. Could the IBM 5100 have returned to the shrine? Did that huge retro PC just spout legs and trot back? That's just silly. But gel barners have teleported out of the microwave. My waker also instantly moved from the lab to somewhere else. Considering that, it's entirely possible that the same thing happened to the IBM 5100. Maybe I should go check later. Next up is Faris. By the way, I haven't told Faris my phone number. I'm afraid that if I talk to her on the phone, she'll drag me into her usual nonsense. So there's only one option. My Mayori, I need to contact Faris. <laughs> Mayori's eating an, eating an eclair. She must have stuck some in the fridge when I wasn't looking. Papalo, come in! They're delicious! Hells yes. Now that she mentioned it, Kurosu and Dario are eating too. <laughs> you people don't have a care in the world, do you? There's some crazy stuff happening here! I mean, it could all just be in your head. No need to panic. It's not just in my head. It's not! You need Ferris chair for something? I wonder if she's working today. Ferris turns off today. Of course you know, Daru. Well done, Daru. You know, Ferris, Ferris is scheduled better than her co-worker. I award you the title of Ferris Stalker. You know her phone number, right? See if you can get a hold of her. Uh, okay! Mayuri takes her phone out and makes a call. After a short wait, wait Mayuri smiles. Mayuri's uh, chat! Good afternoon, Dad! It's Mayushi, Nya! Nya? Nya? Alright, this is the first time Kurosu heard Mayuri speaking Nya Nya. Sorry to bother you on your day off. Oh, Kurt said he wants to talk to you about something. Want to talk to him? Huh? You know, Okarin. Kyoma? Who's Kyoma? The hell are they talking about? By the way, Faris is the only person who actually calls me by my true name, Kyo and Kyoma. And I'm thankful for that, but she still drives me crazy. I'm out of you over, okay? Hi. Okay. Here you go, Okarin! I take Mayori's phone. Faris's face is displayed in the LCD. She's wearing cat ears, even though it's her day off. It's me, Hyo and Kyoma. No! How useful for Kyoma to contact me, Nya! There's something I need to ask you. Long ago, you donated the retro PC to Yanabayashi Shrine. Am I mistaken? Nyan! What? What's Nyan supposed to mean, Nya? 
Ah, crap. I started talking like her. Kurosu bursts out laughing. Looks like she heard. It means you're right, Nya! Though I didn't know it was called 9pm 5100 until recently, Nya! What? Why recently? Donald Nya told me! So that's it. At any rate, Faris has confirmed the IBM 5100 was at Yanabayashi Shrine. So did the IBM 5100 disappear from the lab after I retrieved it? Now, Kurosu and the others lost their memories of me bringing it back to the lab. So I'm considering two possibilities. One, I went to the shrine but didn't acquire the IBM 5100. It's still at the shrine. Two, before I went to the shrine, someone moved the IBM 5100 somewhere else. Looks like I'll have to go to the shrine after all. So what about the retro PC, yeah? No. Ah, nothing. Faris was a retro PC maniac, wasn't she? Let's just make sure. Do you have any other information on the IBM 5100? It's a super rare PC. As a charisma built maid. Charisma build maid. I expect you have a strong network in Akiba, correct? I'd like you to use that network to search for an IBM 5100 in Akiba now. We only need to find one. It doesn't matter if it's the if it's the one I found at the shrine. Mm, yeah. I can look but for a price, yeah. A price? She trying to strike a deal? That's unexpected. Let's hear it. I want you to come over to Ferris's apartment, yeah. Oh Christ, is she coming on to me? Where is this apartment of yours? I quickly prepare a memo pad and write down the address Faris recites. Oh, so you live in Akaba. I'll make things quick. Ju judging by the address, it should be right next to the station. I'll be waiting, ya! Yeah! I return Mayuri's phone and stand up from the couch. Let's stop by Yanabayashi Shrine and then head to Faris's place. Yeah. Well... I look over my shoulder with a frown. Why are you guys tagging along? Mayuri and Dara are following me, even though I didn't ask them to come. Kurosu stayed back at the lab. Mayushi's never been to Ferris Chan's place. I always... I thought I'd like to visit once. <laughs> I mean, it's Ferris Chan's home. No way am I missing this. Might be a bad idea to take Faris Stalker along. A real bad idea. Well, whatever. If Faris has a problem with it, then we can send him away when we get there. Nothing else matters as long as I get, get Faris to search for an IBM 5100. Of course, if the IBM 5100 is at Yanabayashi Shrine, then it won't even be necessary. I stopped by the shrine, but Lukako's not there. I guess he was out when he answered the phone earlier. I've got no other choice, so I go to the humble shrine offering and press the intercom button. Lukako's dad comes out. When I try asking him if the IBM 5100 was donated to the shrine, he answers it certainly was. But after he tries looking for it, he says he can't find it anywhere and has no idea where it went. I ask him if he lent the IBM 5100 out before, but this event is gone from his memory. Hmm... <laughs> What's going on here? While heading towards Faris's place, I analyzed the situation. The IBM 5100 has disappeared from the lab, even though it was there just a few days ago. It's also disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine. It's like some god is messing with me, moving it every time I get close. The emails definitely have something to do with this. I can't begin to imagine how the past has changed. At any rate, it looks like we'll have to rely on Faris. The usual weekend crowd packs the front of Akiba Station. Girls dressed in maid outfits and school uniforms dil diligently distribute flyers to the passers-by. I appreciate their efforts in this god-awful heat. Hmm? Hmm? After a few malign boosting moments walking in the sun, I come to a sudden stop. What? 
that's wrong. It's my God damn it! It's it's my computer thief. I've caught sight of a woman squatting on the side of the road, hugging her knees and typing on her phone. That's got to be lab member number five, Kiryu Moeka. Wait, is she still a lab mem? Mary and Daru don't remember her. Well, whatever. What luck? There's something I need to ask her. I run up to Moeka. Oi, Shiatsu. Hey, Shining Finger! I try to get her attention, but she's stuck in her own little world. IPN. 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 Gone, gone, gone. Why is it gone? Why can't I find it? It's really in this town. Don't tell me it's already. Are you listening, Shining Finger? It should be. It should be. It has to be. FB said so. No reaction. Kiryu Moeka! Moeka stops muttering. She finally looks up. Actually, she just looks at my feet. Okabe-kun? Did you take the IBM 5100 from the lab? Mayori and Daru look at... Look, I... I can't? Yeah. Mayori and Daru look at can't at me, but I ignore them. I don't want to believe that it was you. You were a fellow lab mem after all. But you did display an unhealthy attachment to that computer. So, was it you? How did I be in 5100? I found one, but it's gone missing. Missing? Don't worry. I won't report you to the police. As long as you return it, that is. Wow. I feel I feel like something horrible may or may not be about to happen. The way he's accusing her. The normally expressionless Moeka frowns in bewilderment. You don't remember, do you? Moeka shakes her head faintly. And she looks down and begins operating her phone at high speed. Not making any sense. Please explain. Did you really find an IBM 5100? Where? Moeka. She really doesn't know. If the IBM 5100 had been stolen from the lab, then Moeka would be my first suspect. But the IBM 5100 from Yan disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine, not the lab. It can't have been Moeka's doing. So it was the D-mail? Or perhaps it was the work of CERN? I'm sorry, Finger. I squat in front of Moeka and bow my head. I suspected you. A lab mem! A comrade! I'm the worst sort of man. Hit me, please. I don't mind. But there's one thing I want you to know. In my long years running from the organization, I've grown unable to trust anyone. Why? Why did I have to be born with these gifts that others so covet? I don't even know what half of these things mean. Once I start to suspect, everyone looks suspicious. No matter how many comrades gather around me, I always feel alone. Pitiful, aren't I? Just tell me about the IBM 5100. D did you just ignore my entire speech? Hey, Okarin! You're doing improv in the middle of the street! Has the heat got to your head? 